वे g माइनस प्लस माइनस वन हाफ एच माइनस प्लस एच माइनस वन हाफ एंड दिस इज माइनस फोर जी प्लस माइनस विच इज द सेम एच जी माइनस प्लस बाई सीमेट्री एंड देर फोर माइनस माइनस एच प्लस टाइम्स माइनस एच माइनस सो दिस माइनस दिस एंड दिस ऑल्सो फॉलोज डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द सीमेट्री ऑफ टी एल्फा बीटा ओके टी एल्फा बीटा इज ऑल्सो सीमेट्रिक इन अल्फा एंड बीटा एंड थ्रो टी प्लस माइनस इज जीरो एंड टी माइनस प्लस इज जीरो हाउ एवर टी टी प्लस प्लस एंड टी माइनस माइनस इन अवर फ्यूचर कंसिडरेशन वुड प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल एज वी नो दैट द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ टी एल्फा बीटा should vanish by virtue of the equation of motion of the auxiliary field h alpha beta which means each one of these components should individually vanish and this is a kind of a constraint on our theory so it means we will make use of this this is del plus x mu whole square this is del minus x mu Whole square and this is equal to zero and this also equal to zero. This we would so when we make a Fourier uh, mode expansion for x mu, we would also do it for these equations. Okay, Fourier mode expansion we will make also for this, also for this equation and along with so the third equation is our equation of motion. So these are two equations that are important. These other things. Uh, Uh, are not t plus minus and t minus plus. They have not survived for the time being. Let me erase this. So the these are two important equations, right? And one more important equation. is our x mu which was in the instant form theory that was our equation of motion in the instant form theory with this this was d mu d mu this was d mu d zero Plus d one d one, and this is uh, minus d zero square plus d one square, which is equal minus delta tau square delta tau square. This happens when our mu nu was minus one zero. And plus one. So by making use of that, this del zero is minus del zero, and del one is plus del one. Okay. However, for light on dynamics, I am some uh, alternatively sometimes I am writing dynamic light on dynamics or light on quantum physics. Whatever you like, or just it's enough to have in the light one coordinates. What we have is zero is the Delam version x mu. This is d mu d mu. Not let let me make it different lambda lambda or something. And this now takes plus plus x mu plus del minus. Del minus x mu. However, now this would give me a factor of minus two when I when I uh, when I bring it down. When I bring it down, this would be uh, so. Let me let me write it here. Del plus minus is okay with h. Uh, 
آرش متر with this so if we bring it down i get a factor of minus 2 del plus del minus x mu and i get a factor of minus 2 del minus del plus of x mu and this gives me the This gives me the equation of motion in light from coordinates at x mu and this gives me minus 4 times del plus del minus this equal to 0 and this simply reduces to so these are the three these are the three equations that we have to now worry about okay in the first place we will worry about this and this little bit later okay this little bit later so we we find that this is again the wave equation and therefore this motivates us to think in terms of the Fourier recomposition or Fourier expansion or in terms of the Fourier modes. All these terms you find being used alternatively in the literature. Uh, also uh, one more while all these things are still on the board, we could as well, uh, we could as well write down that this xn was g to sigma, if you, if you want to write it like this, which is equal to minus t by 2 times minus 1 half d sigma plus d sigma minus times times uh, minus dy2 minus this into 1 half into minus 4 del plus x mu del minus x mu so this means this is equal to this I want to keep as d2 sigma and so I want to have d2 sigma times L. So now L h uh, minus d by 2 from here, 1 half from here and minus 4 from here and then plus x mu then minus x mu so this then gives me l l is my this thing so uh, 2 2 4 this goes away minus minus becomes plus this is p times del plus x mu del minus x mu. Okay. If I if I wish to extract what is my Lagrangian density, then we should only care about writing it back as d to sigma, or you could write it uh, the way you like. So this is then the uh, Lagrangian density of the theory. And uh, I would like to have some space. So, if I want to write pi mu 
So I want to define pi mu following the usual definition. If this is pi mu, so x mu here, and then this is t del minus x mu. Okay. Uh, what it really means, if we understand the Fourier modes for x mu, we can also understand the Fourier modes for del minus of x mu. We can take its derivative with respect to light from time, light from space coordinate. And this means we also know the Fourier modes for pi mu. So, the, our first need becomes that we try to understand what is x mu, okay? And therefore, we could then after uh, having done these things, we could come back to our Fourier modes for x mu again, okay? So, uh, I think it helps. Many of these things we may have uh, written down earlier, but uh, looking at uh, the things in one totality sometimes gives us confidence to feel that what we are doing is right and we are going in the right direction. Okay, and why we are doing one can always tell oneself oh, why are we doing this? Okay, so this is the this is the main thing. So this means then that this is